a good man may be seen as a good guy, and therefore finish last. Hear, hear. Good guys can be great men, but in the eyes of some women, they will never be good enough. Until, until, their time has run out, and they're nothing more than discarded, leftover women. It is only then that these not good enough good guy men become good enough. The sad thing is, many of these men think they found love, but from many of these women's point of view, they found a sucker, a fool, a man willing to take her on, baggage and all. Baggage and all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So I have a video today. Why do we pick good guys last? Listen to black women. Ah. Yeah, don't listen to black women. Don't listen to any women. But seriously, a video by Madame Noir. I think I've heard of it before. 8k likes to 5.2k dislikes. Who wants to bet most of those dislikes are from men? Yeah, they are. But why do women pick good guys last? Why are good guys not good enough from the beginning? Is it because more women have more choice and option? But in a sense, it makes a lot of them trashy women. No one cares. And my last point before we begin. Does the more bodies a woman acquire through her adult life, does that lower her value? Does it? Yes, yes it does, yes. Yeah, I'm answering the question myself, but yeah, yeah, tell me what you think, but yeah, yeah, it does. Well, I hope you're doing well. Hope your week has been good. Week's almost done, month is almost done, and it's been a strange month already. But this, of course, is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. The epic sci-fi noir. Yeah. Replicant Fish. Indeed. Let's begin. <laughs> Today we are talking about why good guys finish last. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Shamika Sanders. Beside me I have the beautiful Jessie Wu and the fabulous Africa Miranda. Guys, in a recent interview, Sir Slim Thug <laughs> asserted that Ciara was not happy in her relationship with Russell Wilson because he is a good guy. To use his word, he is a square. Damn, he's a square. This video is two years old. And yes, I do agree with Slim Thug. But I'm just waiting for the Russell Wilson Ciara episode to unfold before I, you know, <laughs> before I make my videos, yeah. <laughs> but yes, as we know, after a history of bad boys, road men, street dudes, thugs, whatever the hell you want to call them. Trash already, trash! Yeah, many women then want to settle down with a square. An honest, decent man. A good guy. Yeah, good God. Run! Run! Let's get into this quote right here. He wrote this, y'all. This, yeah. <laughs> this is his version. And we quote. Version. Do a woman used to talk to future really want a Russell Wilson? He's just a corny dude. He's just like a square. Damn. <laughs> Damn, he's just like a square. <laughs> you see, my point is, many women become accustomed to the men that they date. So if a woman has a history of dating these, these supposed bad boys, whatever, then any man after that, that's different from those men, he has to be a sucker or some kind of fool or cleanup man. He can't be deemed as a decent man. He can deem himself as such because he feels lucky. Yeah, good flipping luck. Ah. But let's be honest here. Deep down, many of these women do not respect these men because deep down, many of these women know he may not have got her earlier on in her life. Exactly. What do you define as a good guy? What does that mean? I've found, to be very honest, my definition of a good guy has changed over the years. A good guy for me used to mean that he had money, that he had a certain, like, social standing. What? Pay attention. Did you see how she associated money with him being a good guy? Not who he was as a person, but who he was financially, okay? But I found that that didn't mean that they were really good people. So now for me, a good guy is someone that is kind, that's a hard worker, that doesn't have serious problems with honesty. You didn't think that before? You didn't think that before, as a grown woman? Honesty. Mm -hmm. And that actually is a little square. Mm. Oh. I feel like, for me, those qualities now, you can find them anywhere, not just in the church or right. in school, you know, because I used to associate the good guy with the guy who's in church, yeah. the guy who's in the library all the mm -hmm. time. But now I feel like you can find you a good guy in the street. What? You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. of these street dudes, they be good guys. They'll yeah. take care of you. There you go, good guy in the street. In 2021, many of these women sound outdated. A guy in a library or in the church deemed as a good guy, it sounds quite naive and stupid. That does not deem a man as a good guy. That's actually quite naive. But then again, but then again, this woman doesn't look as if she has much to say apart from naive, bullshit, shallow, trash, superficial points of view. 
Yeah, it's probably just me. They be good guys. They'll take care of you. You know, they'll care about you. They'll motivate you. They'll support you. Yeah, some men listening, don't try to be anything more than a street guy because you have women like this attracted to you. Yeah, don't try to be anything more because if you try to be something more, you may be seen as a square a boring guy because you're actually trying to have a better life yeah pay attention men pay attention don't listen to these broads the popular definition of a good guy is not my definition of a good guy all of this leads us to the question of the week why do we pick good guys last because your box is all used up and you now need a sucker to fix the box or or pretend it's so intact <laughs> even after a few babies and just say Okay, ladies, so why don't we just pick the good guy first? Doesn't it seem so simple? It would actually make sense, but in a modern liberated era, come on. Women can have all the reckless fun that they want. Point is, men, don't stop them. Just pay attention. Never save them. Let them have the fun. Just don't be the guy cleaning up the mess afterwards. Who said we don't, though? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, you'll pick a good guy, but does the good guy want you? No offense to her, not judging her, but she looks like she likes some kind of rough. She looks like she likes some rough, I'm just saying. You know, a lot of these good guys, they want the hoe, they want the scammer. Oh. The same way we like excitement, right. they like adventure too. Okay, I will admit to her point, yes, yeah, sometimes a reckless chick, depending on how good she is and if the sex is good, yeah, sometimes you know she's kind of trash and she's bad for you, but you may enjoy being around her and enjoying the sex. So I understand in that dynamic how some women would live in that dynamic as well, but just continuously for many, many years, knowing that they're bad for them, but just enjoying the company and the sex they get from these men. So yes, vice versa. However, because many of these women bond heavily to these reckless guys, it makes them more difficult to date in the future. And, and after the end of all those thugs, what decent man, thinking, logical man is actually going to want her? I yeah. see that a lot of times with the good guys, you know what I mean? So a lot of us, we pick the good guys, but does the good guy want the good girl? I want to make this point here. Women that date thugs and bad boys and these sorts of men, I personally believe these are low value women. Because if a woman's value through her life is her body, her youth and femininity, and she's wasting it on low value men that have nothing going for them in their lives, why can they be seen as anything except low value women? That's probably just me, but let me know what you think, men. So we're canceling each other out. Exactly. I feel like, though, most of us don't, and not even say most, but I feel like some people, and I can definitely put myself in this category because I've been super guilty of it, didn't pick good guys or good men like because like we're normalizing trauma like we think that True. to be in love is like exciting and it should be danger and it's like we didn't think that all of these things are normal exactly thank you woman dressed like a peach because many women do this they have a trauma bond thing where for them the feeling of love is be careful fish be careful how you say this it's embedded with a slight hint or maybe a heavy dose of pain the fact how some women see these relationships as real because of the amount of emotional pain involved in there a lot of feeling and what men should understand is how many women associate certain feelings and they would call that love. This sort of thing women realize later on in their life is actually quite stupid. But in the moment, in the moment, in the moment, <laughs> oh, it's too fun in the moment. It's too fun in the moment. The trauma bond experience. That's why if you're a decent, non-reckless man, understand why you may not be able to bond with these women. It's because they're used to bonding with low value men. When you meet a nice guy where it's just like it's easy, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, well, I don't trust it because I don't know what that is. Exactly. It's boring. It's boring. Exactly. Men, pay attention. This is why some men understand to have a woman continually chasing you. Always have her in some way, in some way pursuing you. Don't tell her everything. Don't give her everything. Don't give her so much access. Always keep her wandering. Like so much of black love mm -hmm. is about struggle. Like why does our love have to be struggled for it to be like, this is what is supposed to be exciting mm -hmm. and feel good. Because that's what many women like. It makes them feel something. And many women can relate to other women who are going through the same thing, the same sort of trauma, bond sort of love, hardcore, just reckless love sort of crap. And many men look in on these women and wonder, why won't she let me save her? Because you're not supposed to. But you said something really good about trauma speaking to trauma. It can. Like for some of us and myself included, my first relationships like my father, there was damage there. Mm -hmm. So that informed a lot of my choices in men. And I think many of us do that. So that's why we want or we respond to like the negativity the or the, you know, the bad guy. Yeah. So basically what you're saying is that we are attracted to this badness and we have now associated the bad guy with fun yes there we go again men the correlation with many of these videos fun yep and we are overlooking 
the good guy. Okay, so now let's see what the social media streets are saying. Ethereal Kia says, Imagine how much more pleasant our communities would be if our women weren't stressed out trying to play both parental roles. Imagine how much happier and peaceful our homes would be if our women could focus on cultivating them from the inside. I hear praise, Isabel. Hello! Hallelujah! A bunch of nonsense. If you're a woman dating street dudes and you expect things to get better, how can things get better? If many women lost these men, and many men know this, many men would not even try to be better because they don't want to be seen as a square. Think of how many men want to avoid so much being seen as a square that they would thug it up as much as possible. Even if that's not them. Because they know certain women want it, they would just imitate it, act it, pretend to be it. Yeah? Pay attention, men. Stop lowering your value for trash. Communities can become better when people learn to stop choosing trash. Praise the Lord. That's the word right there. Imagine. Yeah. Someone responded and said it would solve most of the dysfunctions in the black community, mm. which is what you were talking yeah. about, the trauma. We have to heal because like, we have to take responsibility for the men that we're choosing. But exactly. Exactly. If you have a lust and thing for bad boys, you have to understand a large percentage of men would just do this, even if they're not that, simply because they know how women like yourselves react to it. Women like yourselves and many, many other women. Take responsibility for the men that we're choosing, but then the sure. men, same way. It's like, we can't, we're not here to fix them. They're not here to fix us. You sure. have to fix yourself. Exactly, men. Don't fix any of these broads. If they're broken and you do not break them, leave them there, broken and left over. It's not your job to fix. And, and you know what? Another part of that trauma is, like, for me, when it comes to me and I'm going and I'm dating these guys, mm -hmm. they want to mistreat me. But then when they go to other girls of other cultures, mm -hmm. you know, they're going above and beyond. And it's yeah. like, okay. At the same time, you can't date a bad boy. Enjoy the mistreat, sexually enjoy the mistreatment, you know, and then be shocked at the way he carries on with other women. They may not like the same things you like. But yes, I agree, men should not treat other women of a different color different because they think she's a different woman. No, no, no. From my perspective, women are women, all women are women. Different backgrounds, different colors, different personalities, yeah, to a degree, yeah, to a degree. But women are women, are women. Western women are women, are women, are women. Even Eastern women are women, are women all women so let me just go to the hood nigga because the hood nigga already gonna go <laughs> above and beyond when he comes okay. to a girl like me because he's gonna appreciate what i bring to the table mm. versus a good guy who knows he has all these options exactly men pay attention you see deep down many women know a decent man actually has more options a road guy can attract a decent amount of women yeah but how far can he go how far can his lack of communication skills take him yes many women may see him as sexual but how many men respect him outside of the hood he's gonna take me for granted so i'll just go to the hood nigga who gonna Ooh. you know what i'm saying take me on the adventure i deserve exactly the reckless trashy adventure she deserves loads of reckless sex but at the end of it she wants a decent man men leave them there have your fun if you want to but leave them there you said something really good there though because the good men out there they think they're god's gift to women mm -hmm. so now they treat everybody but I don't want to put it on, like, there are some good guys who will take you on wonderful adventures and you won't be crying at the end of it. Like, I, I think that's, like, the problem is that there are good guys that might be a little corny, but they're fun, they're kind. And, like, I do feel Sierra did for Russell. She gave him a little swag. No, she didn't give him swag. She gave him some leftover, you know what? I don't need to say that, to be honest, but yes, admittedly, some dudes can be overly squared to the point of being just squared, squared, where they may not have much depth or dimension to them. However, my point is, if women didn't find them attractive before, why want them when your value is declining? Shong you or is gone. Like, he's not wearing the Hawaiian shirts anymore. Jesse, what do the receipts say? <laughs> well, the first question we asked our readers was, the first thought that comes to mind when you think good guy is... 51% said husband. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, these stats are beautiful. Look at how they put this together. Husband in the same category as friend, boring, and sucker. Seriously, that's trash. And they let women choose from this. Some would think husband is, that's a good thing. That's not actually a good thing, to be honest. Not in modern times, to be honest. Because in modern times, that means a sucker. That means the good guy they settle for. Also as well, what second? Friend friend yeah <laughs> you can see this yourself men how women view you in seeing you as a good guy to them not a guy they want to sleep with and have reckless fun no you're this the husband the friend the boring the boring guy the sucker even though they put sucker one percent 
Yeah, I think it's more than that, but pay attention, men, pay attention. 41% said friend, 7% said boring, and 1% said sucker. Damn, who puts why, sucker right, up that's, why But even, that's the problem. That's the, but, it, but only 1% said sucker now, so that's growth. That's, that's, you know what that is? That's growth right it's there. Growth. But yeah. notice how 51% said husband, which yeah. goes back to what I was saying earlier. Yeah. All of us want to settle down. Most of us yeah. want to settle down anyway. Yeah. So even if it is like the boring yeah. good guy, like you're still thinking, okay, husband. Men, are you listening? Are you listening, men? Are you listening, men? Are you listening? I make these points myself. Yeah. So even if it is like the boring yeah. good guy, like you're still thinking, okay, husband. I use the women in these videos to make the points themselves. The boring yeah. good guy, like, okay, husband. They tell you the husband is the boring guy they settle for. Yeah. At the end of the day. I feel like though we got to change the conversation. Why does it mean that like in the end, like after I've lived and had all my fun, I'm going to mm -hmm. settle down with mm -hmm. this corny man? Why, why can't it be, oh, we want, you know, True. this good man who's great and fun and nice that treats me well. Because women have options nowadays. Women can have as much reckless fun and as much trauma bonding sex as they want to have. They have the options to do so. They can go through their garden tool phase, then expect a man to come and want to plant a seed in her salty, just dusty soil dirty soil after many many men have trodden through her garden now she expects a new man to come along and plant his seed in her salty just muddy just uh, soil nah yeah. and like that's a new experience it doesn't have to be something that we wait for after we've been drugged through the mud true you know and then we you know that's always our experience though that i feel yeah. that's what i feel like you have why to it gotta go. be our experience i i just feel like you have right. to go through this life and sometimes you experience this trauma to know that there is something else out there last question was which statement do you agree with the most 81 percent said good guy or bad boy men are men 18% said good guys make better husbands but are no fun and likely whack in bed. Damn. <laughs> you right there. I took that <laughs> and 1% said good guys are weak and bad boys are strong. Bullshit. I think bad boys are damaged. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. First. Yeah. yeah. First. Can, I, can, we, can we add another option? Well, yeah, I, yeah. I think bad boys are probably damaged and therefore they damage other women. Exactly. Um, Look at future. Yeah. Many women love the damage. And again, how insulting it is for a man to come and clean up after all that damaged crap. So let's get into the conversation and look at this article written by Teresa Didonato for Psychology Today. She states, there has been a long-standing assumption that women who view men as nice guys are viewed as intelligent but less assertive, less sexually experienced, and less attractive. Do you agree, though? Do you, is that how you felt before? Intelligent but less assertive, less sexually experienced, and less attractive? I didn't think less attractive. No, yeah. because listen, some of them good guys, they'll surprise you now. They'll pull out their anaconda real quick. <laughs> <sighs> you see, th there you go, there you go. The point I made a while ago, it's, again, stop being fools for these women. Stop listening to the nonsense. A video I made a while back, women saying because you play video games, you're whack in bed. What? Yet, many of these so-called thugs and bad boys, some of them sit around for many hours doing nothing but playing video games. And the same women will say these guys are the best in bed. They, it, like, like, man, do you see how stupid this is? Okay. So I, I don't feel like I should gener we should generalize yeah. that. Um, but, you know, then again, it's been a lot of people's experience that, yeah, the good guy is kind of whack and whatever. But yeah. that's not always the case. So after all of that good talk <laughs> and honest <laughs> answers, yeah. ladies, what's our takeaways? What did we learn from this conversation? My takeaway is simple. Silence, you fool. Many of these women become leftover women of their own making, their own past. Many women believe and try like idiots to sell to us as men that their past should not matter. Yet no offense women, yes it does. It always will matter to any decent, focused, logical man. Because you're a decent man, a good man, does not mean you have to be a clean up man. Hear, hear, woof woof as men, yeah. Indeed, indeed, in other words, in other words, focus, observe, remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.